It's the middle of January, a beautiful day to be fishing. Air temp is less than 40, water temp is less than 40, and every pond I passed driving up here was completely frozen, but we have open water here, and I'm gonna use my uh, deeper smart fish finder to see if I can uh, catch some crappie and perch. So right now the deeper is sitting in 35 feet of water. I'm not seeing much yet. Um, interestingly, the water temp at the surface is 37 degrees, which is extremely cold. That's about as cold as you'll ever see it unless you're ice fishing. But uh, during the winter, um, there's actually warm water near the bottom. So what I'm expecting today is uh, for all the fish to be near the bottom, which I'll hopefully mark. And um, I actually have a thermometer. I'll show you guys the difference in water temp between the bottom and the uh, surface. So uh, I'll explain in the video description. It's a scientific phenomena called the thermocline. So let me guys show you the difference in water temp. I had this thermometer sitting at the bottom of 35 feet of water for the last 10 minutes. You really only need to leave it there for one. And the uh, temperature reading on here, it's reading 44 degrees on this thermometer. So that's a difference of uh, seven degrees. Uh, you can see that's a huge temperature difference. And you can see why the fish would want to be near the bottom in that um, 44 degree water rather than at the surf near the surface where it's a lot colder. I didn't really mark anything in the uh, sunny side. So I'm going to try the shaded side to see if maybe the crappie a little more comfortable on that side. All right, so right away, we're marking uh, some activity in 13 feet of water. So it's a little bit suspended, which is surprising. I was expecting to be a little bit deeper, 15, 16 feet. Yep, definitely uh, right in that shaded side where I cast my deeper. We're seeing a lot of fish activity right there. So that's good, that's a good sign. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. holy moly, that's a lot of stuff over there. Yeah, we got a lot of suspended fish. You can see this screen is lighting up right now. So I'm going to leave my deeper here. I'm just going to leave my deeper out so I know exactly where to cast. And uh, I'm going to tie on some uh, crappie stuff and fish in this uh, 16 to uh, 23 degree, 23 foot range. Definitely going to catch some fish today. I'm excited. Let's go. Oh, there we go. Fish on. Let's go. Oh, that's awesome. I've only been fishing for like five minutes. Oh man, what is this? It feels pretty good. Uh, what do I got? Oh, it's a giant bluegill, I think. All right, we'll take it. You guys can see this fish has been hanging out in really deep cold water because it lost a lot of its coloration. When those fish are hanging in the shallow clear water, they're much more pigmented. All right, first bluegill of January. I'll take it. Ah, see you, buddy. So what I'm doing is I'm fishing this Rapala Countdown Minnow. And since I saw the fish are hanging down in 15 to 17 feet of water, I'm letting this bait drop for 15 seconds, which this bait falls exactly one foot per second. Then I'm just fishing with slow twitches and I uh, got that one pretty quick. I think it's gonna be a good day. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. It's a good one guys. Oh man, I hope this is uh, not a bluegill. It doesn't feel like a bluegill. It's, it feels like a uh, crappie. Yeah, first crappie of the day. That's what I came here for. It's a beauty. Oh man. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> this is great. Man, anytime you can catch fish in January in these conditions, you just gotta love it. Whew, there we go. Little guy, he fought pretty hard though. It's been about 15, 20 minutes since my last fish. It's a little tricky to get these fish to bite. You really got to get that bait in the right uh, strike zone where they're hanging at and you got to finesse it. And these bites are really soft and I've actually missed a couple of bites because the fish aren't really being aggressive, which makes sense because the water's freezing. But if you uh, work the bait slowly and uh, use sensitive gear, I'm using 10 pound braid, uh, you can get those, stick those fish. All right, I wasn't getting any bites for a while. So I just threw the deeper back out in the same spot right in front of me. And it uh, looks like those fish moved down a little bit deeper. So they were in the uh, 15 to 17 foot range. Now they looks like they're in the uh, 25 foot range. Um, head yeah, really close to the bottom. So I'm gonna vary up my retrieve a little bit and let my uh, bait sink down a little bit deeper to see if I can catch some of these fish. There's one. Oh yeah, there we go. Got him that time. Ooh, that was a pretty good hit too. I think it's another crappie. 
but take your time reeling them in because their their lips tend to be a little bit soft. Yes, yeah, another crappie. A little. I fell a little bigger because I hooked them in the side. It's all right though. We'll take it. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's just awesome to be able to come out here. This is my first time crappie fishing this year, and I actually know nothing about crappie fishing. So what I did last night is I uh, went online, read some articles, watched a couple videos. I heard they like to hang around bridges. So came out, this is the only bridge at this uh, reservoir, so that kind of narrows down my options. And I was able to use my deeper to locate the fish. I didn't have to waste my time fishing uh, over in that region over there. I saw all the fish are here, so I'm fishing here. And I know they like to eat, people like using minnows and stuff. So I, f I just went to Bass Pro Shops. This is my first time using this bait. Uh, I figured a little minnow imitation should get them. And uh, so far it's working pretty well. Just can't, can't beat it. Fishing is always a learning experience. Every time you come out, learn something new. And uh, days like this are definitely the most rewarding. Tricky. Yeah, I didn't think of that. Finally done with that conference call. This one's fighting a little. Oh, okay. Not a little guy. It felt a little bit bigger. Probably have my drag set too loose. So, this is about number, crappy number 50. Believe it or not, during that one hour, 30 minute conference call, I caught like, like, you know, 40 of these fish. They're all this size, all small ones. I was slaying them on the, uh, on blade baits and uh, little cast masters, little spoons. So, it seemed like the uh, countdown minutes were catching the quality. Then once I dialed into that school a little bit, I pulled out the blade bait and I caught some numbers. But uh, the main things today were definitely finding that school, finding what depth they were holding at, doing some research, having the proper gear, and uh, getting out there and uh, throwing some casts out. So make sure if you guys haven't tried crappie fishing this winter, give it a shot and see what you can catch.